In this video, we are going to look at coding ICD-10 CM diagnosis codes for Chapter 6, Diseases of the Nervous System, codes G00 to G99, and Chapter 10, Diseases of the Respiratory System, codes J00 through J99, and then U07.0, which is the new COVID-19 code. So remember that the chapter-specific coding guidelines are in the front of the tabular section. So right here, the respiratory diseases, you can see there's about a page and a fourth of chapter-specific guidelines, coding COPD, coding acute respiratory failure, influenza, and ventilator-assisted pneumonia and vaping disorders. And then chapter six, diseases of the nervous system, has about a page and a half of coding guidelines talking about coding non or um, non-dominant or dominant side at, from a hemiplegia, general coding for pain, pain devices from implants, chronic pain, chronic pain syndrome, and neoplasm-related pain. So again, it's always a good idea to look at the chapter-specific coding guidelines, become familiar with those as you're coding scenarios from there. So let's go ahead and start looking at scenarios from this section. As always, you're gonna look up your main term, for your disease or condition in your alphabetical index. From there, you're going to verify the code in your tabular. So one scenario we could code is if our patient had a Digerian Thomas atrophy, we would come right here and see the name Tajerian Thomas atrophy give us G23.8. So if we flip to chapter 6 and go to G23.8, we'll see other degenerative disease of the basal ganglia, other specified degenerative diseases of the basal ganglia. So there's a good example of using the alphabetical index to, to get to our correct disease of the nervous system code. Now the three scenarios you're gonna code, again, make sure to pause the video after I give you the scenario, try to find the code yourself. And then when you're undone, or when you're done, unpause, and we're gonna go over the correct answers. So our first scenario is we have a 65-year-old male who was admitted today with pneumonia. So what is the code for pneumonia? Go ahead and pause the video. Unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So pneumonia is a respiratory condition, right? So you know you should be in the respiratory condition section, chapter 10. So our code for pneumonia is J18.9. We don't know what, what is causing it. We don't know if it was an organism. So J18.9 is pneumonia unspecified organism. So to look that up, you just would have went to the alphabetical index to P and then to PN for pneumonia. And then once we get to the pneumonia, for the unspecified one, remember it's always the main term right there. So main term pneumonia, J18.9. Now, if we knew the specific type, we would look for the with or due to in all the sub terms indented under pneumonia. But we don't, so that's where we get the J18.9. Okay, our second scenario is our patient is a 35-year-old being seen today for a migraine. So what is the condition code for migraine? So the code for migraine is G43.909, migraine unspecified, not intractable, without status migraineous, and then migraine not otherwise specified is 
in OS, remember, means not otherwise specified. So hopefully you got the code G43.909. Now let's flip to our alphabetical index to see how we found that code. We're gonna go to M to migraine. And then once we get to migraine, again, we don't know if it was with or due to something. So we're gonna pick the unspecified, the first code right beside our main term, which is G 43.909. And our last scenario for this video, we have a 76 year old Mel who was put on hospice today due to COPD. So if you're not sure what COPD is, I, I encourage you to look it up so you can learn from these abbreviations. But COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So what is the code we would assign for a patient with COPD? For COPD, we would assign code J44.9. You can see chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, unspecified. It's also called chronic obstructive airway disease, not otherwise specified, or chronic obstructive lung disease, not otherwise specified. So to look this up, we go again to the name of our condition, right, which is it's a disease. So go to D, to disease. Then when we get to disease, disease is what? It's pulmonary. So then we go disease, pulmonary, chronic, obstructive, and we get J44.9. Again, we went to disease, then pulmonary, chronic, obstructive, J44.9.